Hey there, good looking to join me for what is going to be a fun, sweaty, hit cardio workout. Listen, I had so much fun programming this workout. I can't wait to get you going. Now, a few things about the workout before we begin. This is all levels, so I'm going to show low as well as high impact options. I'm also going to talk through a couple of the moves that may not be safe for people with osteoporosis so that your spine stays in a good position. And then you'll also need a couple of pieces of equipment for this workout. Please grab a sturdy chair or bench, as well as one light dumbbell. And for reference, I have an eight pound. Now, hey, if you're actually watching this in real time as well, this is January 1st, 2024. Oh my goodness. And I am so honored that you chose my workout to get you going for 2024. So I promise to make it a damn good one. All right, let's go get warmed up. All right, let's get our bodies warmed up and ready for the workout. We're gonna start with an exercise that they call the world's greatest stretch. So if you have tight hips, you might wanna use a yoga block. We'll step back with the left foot and then left hand on the block and you can bring the ground up with that block as high as it feels good for you. Or get rid of the block, right elbow to ground, fall on the outside edge of that right foot, reach up, look up, good, we have six of these. We can also take that back knee to the ground if you're finding it really challenging to keep it up. I do recommend yoga blocks. Man, they are so helpful in more than just yoga. <laughs> let's do one more here because I lost count. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's bring the other leg forward. We're coming on the outside edge of that front foot, left elbow, reach up, look up. Good. Down, reach up, look up. Again, maybe dropping that back knee to the ground if that feels better for you. Really rotating under. Last one here. Good job. You come into a standing position for me. I want you to take the feet wide. Toes are going to turn out. We're going to stay low in a side-to-side -side lunge. So however deep you want to go with this is up to you. We have a neutral spine, though. Hip hinge. Breathe. So here's how today's workout's gonna work. We have four exercises in a circuit, four rounds of those exercises, and then we move on to another circuit. Three circuits total. First circuit, we're using your chair. Second circuit, we're using that one dumbbell. Final circuit, body weight only. I'll start the exercise with low impact and then ramp it up so you can choose where you wanna be with it. Last three, two, one more. One, beautiful, let's get in those hamstrings a little deeper. Give me a kick, step it back. Now our work time is 20 seconds. So if you can, maybe try the higher intensity move. A lot of us can do anything for 20 seconds, but again, I want you to do what's gonna feel right for your joints and for where you're feeling today. Breathe. Let's do one more here. One, perfect. Get in the hip joint for me, soften the knee, bring it up, and now bring it back. Bring it up and bring it back. Let's do one more. Good, other side. Up and back. Up and back, last time. Up and back. Feet hip width apart, step back with the left leg into a lunge. Drive the knee up, do it again. Now you bend this back knee however low it feels best for your knee joint, advanced people need to ground. Now the second exercise in our first circuit, this is your alternative move if doing a jump lunge off a chair isn't for you. Okay, so just kind of muscle memory this. Let's do the other leg. Start with the knee up, find your balance, step it back, lengthen into the psoas group, continue warming up into the knee and hip joint. Last two, one more. Good job, all right, get your chair set up or you can definitely use a bench. Your first exercise is a squat heel lift and then I'm gonna turn it into a squat jump. From there, we'll put the laces on and we'll jump forward and lunge and jump up. That's where you'll do the reverse lunge if that doesn't feel good for you. So you ready, let's get going. Three, two, one, now sit back. Heel lift, 
Heel lift, good, or jump it if that's where you want to be. Really push the bum back, let the bum go all the way into your seat. Use your arms a little bit, propel them down as you come up. Land soft if you're doing the high impact. All right, laces up, doesn't matter which side, or follow Minnie Me, she's doing that lunge pattern that we did in warm up. All right, so laces up now, jump forward and lunge, jump back. Once you've seen me, I want you to focus your stare on something stationary. This requires a lot of balance. Twenty seconds of work, right there. We're done. Other side. You want to be closer to the bench than you normally would position yourself for a Bulgarian lunge as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Jump it. Or maybe you're doing the other lunge and knee up the other leg. So it's a little jump forward. Drop it down. Press up. Jump back. Chest lifted. All right, let's get ourselves in a mountain climber position. Get those wrists run underneath the shoulders, feet hip width, not too wide, drive a knee in, then the other. Now speed it up. Stay on top of those wrists. This is our final move. We go back to squat jump coming up. In three, two, one. All right, so squat jump, or if you don't like to jump, remember the heel lift. Here we go, have that chair right behind you, feet shoulder width, let's go. Or heel lift, heel lift. All right, so you're gonna do the lunge, like so, if you're not following me with laces on the bench, working leg close to the bench, jump it, lunge it, go back. So it's laces on the bench, not your toe digging into the bench. You're far enough forward with that back leg that your front ankle isn't resting on the edge. Whew. Is that it's uncomfortable? All right, here we go. Other leg. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Or maybe you're doing that knee up, step back, and lunge. And again, you go down as far as you'd like for that lunge. There should be no pain in the knee joint. Reel it back if there is. Whew. All right, mountain climbers, I'm gonna do something a little different if you wanna join me. If you wanna power it up, start with your left foot beside you, and then press through, switch it. Good, or straight through, okay, like so. So your choice. Pick it up. Time. Whew. All right, squat jump, squat heel lift, round three. You want that chair right behind you, feet shoulder width, go. Or heel lift. Once you've seen me, let's look up where the ceiling and the wall meet. Landing soft if you're doing impact with me. Working on building that bone, working on your power here. Muscles, time. Whew. All right, Bulgarian jump lunge. And the jump is optional. If you want to just do a regular Bulgarian, okay? So for instance, you have arthritis in the toes or a bunion and you can't do a regular one like mini me there. Okay, that's how you would work around that. All right, other side. Whew. Yeah, heart rate's up there. <laughs> Ready, go. Whew. 
time. All right, let's get those wrists right under your shoulders and they're gonna stay like that. We're driving the knees straight in or power mountain climber with me. Left foot, left hand and press. Man, mountain climbers are so much better when the hands are elevated, aren't they? <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo. All right, one more round. Then we get a break and we move on to our series with the dumbbell. Feet shoulder width. Squat heel lift or jump. Look up where that ceiling and wall meet. Hip hinge, find that chair by hinging through the hip. Whew, time. So, a few different variations of this you can do, right? Follow mini me, do a regular Bulgarian, no jump, or follow me. Little jump. Yeah, I love to hate this one. How about you? <laughs> You're just like, I love to hate it, hate it. <laughs> so if you're doing this in real time, any New Year's resolutions? I have a couple, I'll share them with you. First one, I'm going to let go and be okay with the fact mountain climbers, that I can't carry all my groceries in in one trip. <laughs> I'm gonna give my rotator cuff a break and my elbows a break and do multiple trips. Mountain climbers, high or power. Second, I'm gonna stop favoring one burner on my stove. <laughs> it's not good for the other three. Doesn't give them confidence. So I'm gonna use the top left less and share the love throughout my entire stove top. Share yours down below when you're done. All right, we get rid of the chair. We're moving into that whew, series of using the dumbbell. Quick sip of water. I wanna demo just a couple of the moves. Okay, so let's do the first two I'll show you. One arm skier, feet are now hip width. You're starting down into the quarter squat and using the hips to get the arms up there. And it's challenging because your hand only has one dumbbell. Next round we'll do the other side. So a lot of core activation on that. And then we are going to squat, swing, squat, swing. Sorry, squat, swing. <laughs> Woo, just lost it. Now if you shouldn't be rotating that much, you'll just keep yourself squared to me. Oh, sorry, that's the third exercise. My goodness. Let's just start with the skier, me or me. So far the queuing for 2024 has really gone downhill. <laughs> it's okay, it can only get better. So I'm using my hips to get my dumbbell up there, pressing back and then thrusting through. All right, dumbbell here, we've got a jack and press to do first. So. We're gonna tap out, press, tap, press, tap, press, tap, press, or both at the same time. So you can add double presses if you want, or tap it, single press in the second, center, or there. All right, hold the dumbbell there. Let's get those feet shoulder width now, okay? Coming down, squat, rotate. I know I totally demoed it wrong the first time, but that's okay. That just shows I'm human. <laughs> now, if you shouldn't be rotating too much, what do you want to do? Just move through the shoulders. Keep yourself squared through me. All right, bum goes back. Feet hip width. Now I want you to join me. We're gonna step out to a side lunge to your right. Then squat, jump, 
Side lunge, squat, heel lift. Side lunge, squat, jump, or heel lift. Up to you. Now when we do the side lunge, we've got one leg straight, toes, knees, hips, shoulders to me. We can do the heel lift. All right, now skiers, other hand. Feet are now a little bit more narrow. Hip width, bum back. Here's what it looks like using the hips. And again, it's gonna feel really strange because only one arm is weighted. So you've got to really fire up that core to keep the shoulders and hips squared. You can do a little bend of the knees or big bend, depending on how you're feeling. Time. All right, jack and press. So you can do a press each time, okay? Or jack it, press center, press center, or join me. All depends on how your shoulders are feeling on that low impact one. If you wanna double up the press. If you're with me, land soft. Time. Whew. All right, so we're gonna add that rotation when we squat. So let's go to those feet shoulder width. Okay, dumbbell up, squat, up. Now a little bit of weight is being, just a tiniest bit is being lifted on that heel that I'm twisting away from, but the heel's still staying on the ground. Pushing the bum rear, hinging, twisting. If you don't twist, don't twist. Whew. All right, so let's get into that side lunge position. So let's go to the right, side lunge. Okay, squat, heel lift, or squat, jump. Side lunge, squat, heel lift, or jump. Now, wherever you want to place the dumbbells, totally up to you on those side lunges. I'm kind of playing around with it, seeing what feels better for me. And I think dumbbell down when I side lunge works. All right, we go back to the original hand that we started with for our skier. Feet hip width, not too wide. Bum back, arms just come into shoulder height. Use the hips to get the dumbbell up there. One more. Whew. All right, so jack press. So again, you can tap it, press, tap it, press, or tap, press, tap, press, or join me. I really feel my core on this one. Yes. Woo. All right, now let's go feet to shoulder width again. Squat, rotate, three, two, one. Great, and again, keep yourself square and just let the arms go a little bit if you should be twisting through the spine. One more. Woo. All right, we're going out this way with the side lunge, center, squat, heel lift or jump, and then side lunge that way. Let's go. Heel lift or jump. All right, last round. Dumbbell on the other hand for our skiers. We're gonna narrow that stance. Start down like we're at the top of a hill. Our poles are back and then we up. Use the glutes, get those arms up. Knees track with toes, take a look. Make sure they're not fluttering. If you had your shoes and socks off, they're going straight, lining up with that second toe. Whew. All right, squat jack again. You need to give your shoulders a break. Tap at each side before you do the press. Otherwise, low impact is like this. 
high impacts like this. Time. Whew. Okay, get those feet shoulder width. Rotational swing with our squat, starting on this side. Three, two, one, go. Keep yourself fairly squared to me if you shouldn't be twisting to the spine. One more. Woo. All right, final move. Then we get a break. Going out this way with our side lunge to squat, heel lift, or jump. Go. Squat, heel lift, or jump. Time, march it out. Woo. All right. Great job. You have one more series. So now we've got our body weight series. I've chosen to really hit the glute on this one. Two moves, staying on the same leg, and then the second move, two moves, I'll do in the other side. Okay. Yo, me or me. We'll start with a repeater knee. Okay, and then we'll stay with this leg going back for a stutter lunge. So that means we go back a half a stride, baby lunge, full stride, big lunge. Now, if you have sensitive knees, you'll take it back a bit and back a bit. See, I've got my back leg fairly straight, back, back. All right, that'll help you out. Then we'll do the other side. So let's get set up. Feet hip width, hinge forward with that upper body, take that right leg back and go. Pump those arms, come on. Front knee bent. It's my favorite low impact move. All right, no matter what fitness level you're at, it's gonna get that heart rate up and get that front glute fired up, time. So that leg that we were tapping back, that's gonna be our stutter lunge back, okay? Three, two, one, take it back, take it back. Take it back, back, feet together. One, two, feet together. One, two. Now go your pace, your speed, and then your depth. March it. Okay, so those two moves, other leg. So feet hip width on this one. Hinge forward, bend that knee, go. Weight is all on top of that front leg. Back toes just tapping back. Then we're driving that knee up. Move those arms, come on. Whew. All right. Start a lunge, and again, you bend the knees as much as it feels good for you. Three, two, one, here we go. Tap it back, little, big, feet together. Little, big, together. One, two, up, one. All right. <laughs> Only three more rounds. <laughs> oh, ready? Repeater knee, other leg, let's go. We don't moan about what's left in our workout, no. We don't moan 2024 or any year thereafter. <laughs> we just put our heads down and do the work. Three, two, one, march. All right. Belly aching, doesn't get you to your goals. Here we go, stutter lunge, same leg back. Go, little, big. Whew. 
All right, now the leg repeater. So I really want you to sink into that front leg. So it's a hinge, knee bend, leg back, go. That's really gonna change up the feel of that front leg. So it's almost like you're a little bit of a squat and then holding that for 20 seconds. So great for the stabilizers, muscles around the knee joint as well. All right, other leg, stutter it back. Feet are wet, hip width, you got it. Three, two, one, ready, take it back. All the way, again. So I film in one of our living rooms and the other one, the husband's in right now watching TV. I can hear him eating potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> Eating more, more fruits and vegetables wasn't one of his resolutions. All right, repeat her knee, other side, let's go. We're halfway. Remember, knee bent, body weight over that front leg, hip hinge, move those arms. Time. I could be wrong, but I hear a lot of bag wrestling and some munching. Sounds awfully like potato chips. Here we go, stutter lunge, ready? Goes back, back, feet together. Little lunge, big lunge, together. Last one. March it. Okay, repeat her knee, other leg. So just mirror me, and that way you know you're changing up legs. Hip hinge, knee soft, and go. Nice long line from the tailbone to the top of the head. Woo. All right, here we go. Stutter, that leg that was tapping back, same leg again, let's go. Goes little, big, feet together. March it. All right, we got one more of each leg. Then we stretch. Here we go. Softness in the knee and go. Hip hinge, power up. Now, if you want, you can add a hop each time you bring the knee up. 10 seconds, come on. Hop. Three, two, one, march it. Yeah. All right. Same leg. Stutter back. Here we go. Feet hip width. Find that balance. Let's go. Little one. Big one. Jump. Little one. Big one. Jump is optional. <laughs> All right, last leg. Hinge it, bend it, repeat. Same thing, you wanna add a jump? Up, up, it's not a big jump, but it's enough, at least for me. Woo, yeah. All right, 20 more seconds of work. You got this. Feet hip width, stutter. One, two, knee. It's hard to get the coordination with the hop. Do your best. Oh. 
Oh, goodness me, march it. <sighs> Come on over, give me a high five. Whew. Good job. Okay, now I need to stretch you out, so don't leave me yet, okay? <sighs> All right, my mat's crooked. That's okay. Some things will never change. <laughs> no matter what year it is, I will always like a nice straight line. Whew. Whew. Let's get those heart rates down a bit. Feet apart, inhale, bend the knees, arms come up. And then we exhale and just let those arms come down. Let's do that again. Take a deep breath in through the nose, okay? Here we go, deep breath in. Now exhale and sigh it through your mouth. <sighs> Two more, okay? Inhale, nose. Exhale, sigh it out. I wanna hear you. <sighs> yeah, I know, I sound horrible, but that's what I want you to do too. It is a really great way to get rid of stress as well. Here we go, inhale, exhale. <sighs> so, you can tell your family, <laughs> next time they hear you sighing out loud, they need to just chill out because you're stressed and they need to help you out. <laughs> But it does, two breaths of those, like that, will really calm and center you. So next time you wanna kill someone, try that. And then if they still irritate you, you know, by all means, just make sure you look, make it look like an accident. All right, here we go, heel up. I am just joking, before you leave a comment. Knee back, squeeze the bum forward. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Feel that stretch in the quad. Hey, if that doesn't work for you, we're having a tough time grabbing onto the foot. As I mentioned, yoga blocks are awesome to have, as well as a yoga strap, or you can use a bathrobe tie or a necktie. And you would just wrap it around your shin and hold your balance, just like your amazing trainer is right now. And that's gonna help you hold that stretch. I read so many murder mystery books. Really good ones too. So my husband is really careful because <laughs> I think I know how to kill as well as dispose a body and nobody would know other side. <laughs> nah. I talk tough. But I do read a lot of murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Love them. All right, let's get into the hip flexors because gosh, those things work. Let's get the left knee to the ground, hip and knee lines up, and then you're gonna just lunge forward a little bit. I don't want a deep lunge, so you, you yogi people that go all the way deep, we don't need to do that to get the psoas group, okay? We want this back heel lined up with the knee. Now squeeze the left glute, push the hips forward and lean back, and you're gonna feel the release through there. Inhale that left arm up, exhale, lean away, get into side body. And let's just circle that arm behind us, because I like to do that. Whew. All right, let's straighten this front leg. Hinge forward. Now, if you've got that yoga block or your um, dumbbell close by, you can elevate your ground. I really encourage you to do that. So you could also place your dumbbell up if it sits upright. All right, let's do the other side of psoas group first. So knee starts with lined up at the hip, okay? And then you're gonna lunge forward just a bit. Now our cue, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the right glute, extend the spine, inhale, right arm up, exhale, lean to the left. Now let's circle this top arm back. Take it really slow too. This feels really nice. All right, elevate your ground, straighten that top leg, push your hips back, hip hinge, hand rests on the front thigh or the shin if you'd like, but not on the knee joint. The knee doesn't like that kind of pressure on it when the leg is straight. All right, we'll finish off with a little hip mobility and then you can continue on with your beautiful day. 
Let's get the right th shin lined up with the front of your mat, left with the outside. Now from here, we're gonna windshield wiper. So place the hands directly behind the hips, windshield wiper the knees to the other direction. Line yourself up now to that left shin or advanced, take it slow and rotate. Good. Now we're gonna add a forward fold and then up and a forward fold. Fold. Really square yourself to this front shin. Let's do one more each side. Square yourself, lower. Oh, feels so good. Square yourself and lower. Back up to center. Get the insoles together. Do a little butterfly stretch. Place the hands behind you so you can sit up nice and tall not round the spine. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I don't know if you know this, but we have a couple of communities that you can work with me on um, a deeper level. So one of them is Patreon and it's only due to that amazing community that we can have this YouTube channel. And with that comes a ton of different perks. There's information down below. And then if you wanna try out a variety of different workouts, all ads free, in addition to all of mine here on YouTube, you can check us out and grab the 14 day trial over on Over 50 Fitness. Again, both links for both communities are down below. But yeah, let me help you with your fitness because that's what I love to do. <laughs> and release. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you are watching this in real time, happy new year to you. Bye. All right. Let's go get warmed up. Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. Ah, hold. Stop the presses. I forgot to say happy new year. Hey there, good looking. Join me in this all levels hit cardio workout. Listen, I'm going to show you a workout that, um, <laughs> I, I have no idea where I was going with that. Actually, that's kind of how I am with every single video. No idea where I'm going, <laughs> but we get there though, don't we? Eventually we get there. I'll also be talking through some of the exercises for my osteo, Oh boy, I don't know. I think I... Yeah.